let's see how to create a road map from this image um, digitizing roads anything but creating a vector layer we need to open a new vector layer and uh, we can name the vector layer here and we need to mention the type since we are planning for our features we can uh, click on our type and a new vector layer will be created and click on drawing take the polyline and you can start digitizing it if you want to zoom you can use your uh, scrolling bar and you can uh, zoom in or zoom out based on your requirement If you want to pan, you can press the scrolling mouse and you can start panning it. You need to press the scrolling button again and uh, we need to digitize it. So if you made a wrong entry, you can uh, remove this with the help of backspace. So if you click on backspace, it will uh, remove the uh, recent added vertices. If you want to end the road, you can double gate. If you want to add another road, you can take a polyline again. And you can start digitizing it. and we can check out the attribute tables there are three lines I drawn so we are getting two columns ID as well as length and if you want to add an another column we can go to column properties we can click on new we can name the column And you can decide your uh, width. You can start naming your uh, road features. And if you want to add the symbology for those lines, you can go to vector symbology. You can go to automatic unique value. So based on any column name, you can decide uh, the symbologies. And and three uh, different symbol has come with diff three different colors, and you can uh, change the color as well as per your interest and you can apply it and this can be saved as a different symbology file so whenever we open the vector file it can be retained with the help of this symbology file So this is a process called digitization.